I made glow dodgers fishing for kokanee. I'm still experimenting and learning a lot, but here's some ideas I came up with. They catch a lot of fish, but there is sometimes the glow doesn't work. But there has been other times when I've had four glow dodger setups running at the same time, all catching fish. So I'm still trying to figure out better ways. Okay, first we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I make my glow. There's several ways to put glow on these dodgers. And so we'll take this dodger here. I don't know how good my camera is going to work. We'll take some of this Craylon spray. It's a clear. We'll just kind of put it up here in this box. And spray it on there. And we're going to put some <clears throat> aqua blue on here. We'll take and just put it on there like that. And we're going to let it dry. So I put it in here and I'll put that on. That'll kind of help it dry. And what's left over, we don't have too much left over, but I'm going to put it right back in there. I take this paper. dump it back in there. And this here paper's a <clears throat> kind of a non-stick paper. Okay, this should dry for at least 10 minutes before we put our next coat on, but we're going to give this a try. We're going to get we're going to take this pink. This pink is from Art and Glow. We'll open that up. This hasn't dried very long, but we're just going to do it. And kind of. So we're going to spray this again. We're going to take our pink. And do the same thing. So we've got kind of a little bit of a different design. We let this we let this glow dry for another ten minutes. Then we'll give it a nut. We can give it three coats. We'll give it three coats of this. And if that three coats, then after that we can fish with it. But the problem is, is that this will, it may only last maybe, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks and it might peel off. It might never peel off, but it may, may. So. One way I like to make this dry, and we're going to hang it up in this here. I'm down in my basement, and so I just hang this into this here black box that I made. All of these lights are UV lights, and then that will dry. So the next one we're going to do. And this is a different way. We're going to do the same thing. <clears throat> we'll do the same thing. We'll take this. Now I've already bent this here. So you can see the bend on it. And I forgot to tell you, but you should sand that. So it'll stick better. I've already sanded these. 
but take some sandpaper or emery cloth and sand them up so it will so it'll stick better. So now I'm going to take, we have clear shield. This is a brand new stuff I found. And this is the first year I've used it, but I really like it so far. I haven't fished with it, but I like the like what has came out. And it's, we have a part A and a part B. And the first thing I do, you get these two little <laughs> yeah, I can't even think of the names, but anyway, they're, and so I mark one B and one A, so that, and I, I mark the lids A and B, because, so we'll take, I'll take the one I marked A, and I take my little mix, and get a mixing cup, and I'm going to, We'll set that mixing cup there, and this one's marked A, and it's 2-1. And so I go down in here, and I'm going to suck up one. Okay, that's right on. It's right on the money, right there. One. Okay, we'll set that down. Take our other one that's marked B, B, and we're going to put, since it's two to one, we're going to put one half right there. Take our lid off. Suck this up. I'm a little bit too much, so we've got to push it back down. Whoops. There we go. We're right on. We take. Now we put that, we'll put these in our mixing cups. There's not very much in there. So I want this aqua, and you mix this four to one. Four parts of this and one part of our glow powder. And so I just, I kind of guess on this. I don't think, it doesn't need to be exact. And so I just put that in there like that. I take my spoon and We mix it pretty good. Now this stuff dries. It takes about 15 hours for it to dry, but if I put it in my, under my lights, my UV lights, it only takes about what, six or seven hours. So we can't put our second coat on until about seven hours later. So we take that, we take our paintbrush. Now these paintbrushes, I buy the cheapest ones I can get. And then we're just going to paint, paint this on. We're already mixed with the epoxy. Remember, we don't, we've already put our, and so this is, we've mixed it. Now, let's say we want to get us a little bit different pattern. I'm going to take a little bit more of this, and we're just going to sprinkle just a drop in a couple of spots, and that will... That will end up giving us more glow in those spots. Now this has to dry before we can put our pink on it. We'll do the same thing with pink. We'll take the pink, we'll mix it, 
in there and then we'll paint it on with the paintbrush and then since it's epoxy it's done we're through and so we'll So we're going to hang this one up so this one's hanging in there to dry you can see that other pink one right there the one that we just did a minute ago now what I'm going to do is when this one gets dry I will take and I will mix this one with the clear. I won't put any in it and then I will cover that again with that epoxy so that we can get a good good sill on there. It, and so we're hoping it doesn't peel off. And we're going to do a green. Green's really good. Here's some that we only have the tape it's this way and so we're going to we're going to bend that I like to make that bend before I put it on and then we're going to mix green and we're going to paint green there we're just going to we're going to do the same thing look for a bead we'll take a take us another cup we're going to get one half Okay, that's one half, and we can put that in right now. And we'll take our A, we take this here that's marked A, we're going to put in one. Okay, right there, it's one. These have to be perfect. We're going to put that down. It doesn't really, there's not a lot there, so this stuff lasts quite a while. Put our lids back on. And we're going to take our green. And I love this, this green because it really works good in the, when the fish are down deep. We'll take us take our stick we're gonna mix this in pretty thick so there's quite a bit I probably got a little bit too much there and we just stir that in And if we wanted to do more, we would have, you know, mixed more epoxy in here. We'll take a new brush. This one here, we got tape on it. We're just going to paint the. We're just going to paint this bottom part with the green.
will do. I got these, all of these right here, so. I just put my band in him, so he did a lot. And I love these Dodgers. They they're really good. It's a Mac Double D Dodger. We're only going to paint half of that. Okay, we got we got a little bit more left, and so I, I these here work pretty good too. It's a, this is a big duck Mac Double D. On the back, last year I put the green on the back. We're gonna finish this off. And here, there's not we don't have too much left here now. Okay, now we're going to take our green again. We're going to sprinkle it on there. Get over here so we can, if we have to, we can save some. We just. When this dries, we have to repaint it again with our epoxy. I'm going to get just a little bit more here. So that's that's how we do it. It's pretty easy and it it really works. If you ever wonder why why does glow work? Now it doesn't work all the time. Now here's some I've made last year. This one here is really a good one. This is just regular UV paint here. I have two different colors and then this is the green. And then we have a green back and I didn't want a lot of glow so I put some tape on there so I didn't get quite so much glow so but that is that's a good one I gave a bunch of these away last year and and then so here's a design I did last year and here's a different design these are different designs anytime I have pink I put the first coat is blue so anytime you see the pink my first the first coat is always blue now you can't really see what it looks like I'll take some pictures and then you'll be able to I'll, I'll charge these up with the UV light and this one here was really a good one last year it was a it's a Luther Jensen it's a size zero zero and all I did was like on here I just painted them green and it it was a good one and these are just this one here this you can see this here pink is a little bit different color than this other pink that we used than what I was using last year it's a darker pink and so I'm gonna just 
put this under it in the UV light and you can You probably can't really see it on the camera, but it, it changes. So what you're seeing here isn't really what's going on after you charge these. Every time I fish, I'll charge them with UV light. And these the greens work a lot better when you're down deeper. And so I, and I love the green when you're down a little bit deeper. The, the pink ones like this with the blue underneath seems like they work earlier in the year. And if you want, these here you can buy from Amazon. You put your, you just mix that like we did here and then just paint it and you can put a black strip there and I like blue and I've caught kokanee just I had straight blue on here and I've caught kokanee on him this one here is a pretty neat one so like on the back we have we have green glow on the back and this is a flasher, and so a flasher will turn, it turns like that, and so as that is turning, it keeps giving a flash of that glow. This glow, the green and the blue, will glow for a long time. But me, if I ever go 15 minutes without catching a fish, and I know there's fish in there, and I'm not catching a fish on my lures, then I... I'll change, but this the sling blades probably my very first. I fish with fish, these sling blade blades of the five and a half inch ones. Probably eighty percent of the time, and I always, I like these two, and so I'll. I fish with them if I have these here. <clears throat> Dakota Dodger. If I use if I use these, I'll have I'll put four of them on so that the speed I'll get down to one mile an hour using these. And this here's one I made last year that I just put tape on it, but it, it works not real good, but it, it did work, so it gives you ideas. So you the spinner the spinner I painted pink with the with the glow. So I on all, all my spinners now I'll either have pink, green, or blue, or orange. Those are the, the colors I use. But it's, you never know what's going to work. I took a guy fishing one time and he had something that I thought, ah, there's no way that'll ever work. But that was our best lure for the day. And another thing I really like is this fish vision. I, this bottle was full at one time and it's almost empty now. But I will after I get through with all this, I will paint that on, and then I'll, you have to sell it. I'll either sell it with an epoxy, or we'll sell it with this. So I hope you learned something. This stuff doesn't look very good. But, it'd probably be hard to, to sell any of that. This one here doesn't look too bad. But, it works. I catch a lot of kokanee. And remember, if something doesn't work, change lures. Only, if you're in fish, on, you can see fish on your fish finder, change your lures. You can see those are in there drying. These here I'm going to hang up and put them in there to dry. And after they've charged, they look completely different.